Hello everybody, welcome to another quick video. Now this is very impromptu and not really expected, but we've sort of scared out a bit of new woodland that we found in Derbyshire. Um, a few of them may know it, um, but may know may not know where it is. Uh, but yeah, just gonna spin you around and see what you think. Will you look at those? Absolutely brilliant. So like I say, this impromptu video. Wasn't expecting to do one, we thought right. It was torrential rain last night, we'll nip in, see if it's any good, see what's going on. And I think the conditions are actually quite nice, so we'll have a bit of a wander along, try and grab some shots. So this is probably going to be more a case of, sort of a few shots, quick chat and uh, in the video, but go and have a wander down and see what we can make out of it. So obviously we've seen this in a couple of other videos. Uh, most recently Gary Goff came up here, he said he thought it was one of the best line of trees actually in Britain and now I've actually seen it, I think I might agree with him, it is very very impressive. Now we had obviously sort of quite a lot of rain last night, um, so probably get a little bit of wind noise as well because it's a little bit breezy, um, but I'm hoping with what we're seeing here, obviously we've got isn't it, what looks like probably about three quarters of a mile of trees which are really characterful. There's a hint of light coming through, not much but just a hint and it might just give us enough to actually sort of get some shots either way um, and see what pops up. And I do have to be a little bit careful of dog walkers because it does seem to be quite a popular spot um, so I'm going to try and sort of avoid getting any of those in but hopefully yeah with what we've got here just seeing down the end as well you can see sort of the road going by so it's a case of timing that right so you don't get a car in shot as well that sort of ruins the effect but some nice puddles some beautiful shapes in the trees and hopefully we're going to get something quite interesting. I'm seeing here, obviously we've got some sort of the fallen trees over this side. You've got your puddles with a nice bit of reflection, but they're not really big enough to do a great deal with. And those incredible shapely trees. Um, there's a few little rocks over by the, the wall there as well, which might actually work, but the wall works really great as a leading line. Um, if I can just sort of spin you in the rocks sort of area. Um, that sort of leading line there works really well with the trees on it. And it would have been a really nice first thing because we have some really nice mist. Um, but first we were on the other side of the Peak District this morning, so it, it didn't really work out for us. Uh, but definitely, sort of, this along here, there's going to be a few very samey shots, but I think these are going to work quite nicely. Nice moody edit, I think it's going to come out quite nice. And in there, might get a little bit of a, uh, a wander through too as well. Some nice, quite nice looking trees in there that we'll have a look at. But for now, we'll keep on wandering, keep on shooting. Like so, Already popped a shot up now. Um, see what you think, and uh, I think I agree this is quite a special place. And for those of you who'd like to know the settings and bits and bobs, basically. Got an auto ISO because it's not the brightest of days. Again, up to about ISO 2000. Um, so, F8 because I want a good depth of field on this and uh, just let the shutter speed sort itself out. It's averaging about a hundredth of a second, uh, depending on what my focal length is running at. Um, now, what I'm finding as well um, is I'm using the zoom a bit to actually compress the scene down. Um, I actually think it works quite nicely because you, you actually sort of bring all the trees together, it gives it a bit more of a sort of a tightly packed feel. Um, other than that, yeah, we're just snapping away and enjoying it really. Um, well, we've got the raincoats on because there was quite a lot of rain overnight and I don't think it's quite finished yet, so I've been a little bit careful with it. But hopefully, and so we've got some cracking trees behind. Looking through into that, there's some nice little sort of patches where the light's just a little bit easier uh, to pick stuff out as well, so there'll be a few shots of that coming through. But yeah, I'm quite enjoying this. I 
I know I've said this before as well, it's really important when you're out and about, sort of look behind you as well, but definitely this sort of place. Looking down the line of trees is great, when you look back, it gives you a completely different dynamic and let's sort of find different compositions as well. Uh, now just looking at one here, uh, that I'll put up in a second, essentially what I've done, I've actually sort of used the third to actually cross things over, so you've got the line of trees and then sort of, especially the path sort of runs up the centre into the third. I think it works fairly well, there's no real foreground interest, but I think it works quite well to actually sort of guide you across, so yeah, I've popped up now for you. Now the other thing about this area is, I think, depending on the weather conditions, it could give you a completely different shooting experience. Uh, now where we are, this sort of area at the moment, we've suddenly got really high winds um, coming in off the field, so it's, it's given quite a lot of movement time to sort of play around a little bit with the shutter speeds. Um, but certainly sort of in the trees itself, there's not a lot of, sort of real movement, a little bit from the branches. but. Yeah, that's just a sort of bulk of it, but you've got these lovely sort of leaves from sort of coming across those lovely golden bits, but they're just shimmering away in the wind. So, got to be a little bit careful, sort of, hey, come on, I don't think this will work actually sort of showing the movement because there's not a lot really going on with it. But I think generally, I think it works quite well, you know, sort of as a static image rather than sort of incorporating the movement of the leaves. Um, now, what we're going to do, just coming up towards the end now, so getting close to the road, I've had to put the external mic on. Um, I was using the internal one on the Osmo, but it's just got too windy now, so I've had to sort of drop to that. So hopefully the audio's been all right on the earlier bit. Um, but we're going to sort of get up to this area now, and then sort of have a wander back. Um, and there's a section back there, it's really dark in the trees, but I think it might work some really moody shots. And so sort of have a bit of a play with that as well, so yeah, let's go and have a look. So we've got pretty much down to the end, and yeah, it is quite muddy and not great, but you can see, looking back, absolutely gorgeous set of trees, and frankly, I think you get the conditions right here, get that little hint of light coming across, that's going to look really, really nice. So much mood it's on tree, got some lovely sort of moss-covered rocks as well that can use as some foreground. Um, yeah, it's been quite nice. Um, Going to take a few more shots now as we sort of wander back down so there'll be a couple more at the end but yeah what do you think is it sort of somewhere that you'd be uh, sort of happy coming along and shooting in different conditions obviously where it is I'm not going to give the game away too much but you know sort of you're up high in Derbyshire so yeah you're going to get changeable conditions you're going to see varied bits and bobs around so yeah as the seasons change certainly just get leaves in and stuff like that I think it should be quite nice and definitely on a winter's day this would be really really nice um, get a little bit of snow coming through on ice yeah, it could be quite pretty. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give us a big thumbs up. really helps out no end. Uh, but from, well, frankly, a fantastic piece of woodland. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.